This is two and a half yards. This is the facing sister Peter, and this is Duchess for the flay at the waist and the and the thick band you are seen on the waist. And here is the fringe at one side of the sleeve. You know, there is one off shoulder, one shoulder. So this is the fin that is going to stay at the off shoulder side as you have seen it and this is the trimming around the neck you can use any trimming of your choice but this is the one I'm using for this particular style and I'll be using this stone zip and this is the wording to pad the breast cup so let's begin the cutting I'll be starting with this then I'll be cutting the upper part first and I will be giving you the measurement, the necessary measurement for it. I'll be starting with the cutting of the breast cup first. I'll be putting this into two. Like this to take the center of the breast first. So, you know the previous class that I did on breast cut it was cut together from the shoulder to the full length but here it has an half cut and this is a short gown then i'm going to take the half cut first the half cut is 17 inches with the seam allowance the actual half cut is 16 inches so i'll be adding one inch of seam allowance to it so it's going to be like this the next thing here is to take the shoulder measurement. The distance, once you know the distance of the two balls, which is 8 inches there with the same allowance. So the shoulder here will be using 3.5. This is 3.5. Then from here, you're going to take the breast point, which is 10.5 inches. Then the under the bust is going to be 14 inches. Under the bust is 14 inches. So when you get to this area, which is the breast point, the distance of two bust is four in, is eight inches. So this is four. So then here two is going to be 3.5. This is under the bust, and this is the half cut. Going to be 3.5. Then I'll be connecting the lines together. But before then, you have to determine where the ammo is going to be. The ammo is 8 inches. That's back 16. The ammo is 8 inches. So, at this ammo, you can make it on 3.7 inches at this junction. In my previous story, I said there is a measurement before the ammo. And that is, I, and I told you that it's not constant. So, this is 6 inches. Let me use 6. And mind you, you can take the exact measurement you took here, which is 3.5 inches. You can also take it to this area. So, the reason why we, de we determine this area is that when you're coming from here, you make it a straight line. That means... 3.5 here, 3.5 here too. So that will be that will be a straight line. So when you get it to this area, you know this area is 3.7 inches. Then this is four. So there will be a curve. It's not going to be a straight to the air. After air now, it's going to be a curve. So let me sketch. Let me connect my lines together and see the shape. So I've connected the lines. It's not showing that well, but by the time I cut it, I'm going to see it. 
so this area too the half court is also going to be 3.5 so the under the bust to this half court is they are going to be 3.5 3.5 and that's so you're going to take it to 3.5 inches so let me cut it out and see the cup so now you can see this is the shape this is from the shoulder this is where the ammo then it starts from here this is the bus the this one of two bust and the breast point this is under the bust then to the up port you can see it you can see the shape now so if you if you want to you can also cut it on a pattern that before placing it on the fabric to achieve it you can also cut it the way i did mine so the next thing that remains is to cut the two sides at the front after then you will be placing the center this is the center that you're going to face it this way to get this shape then you cut it out This is the shape that we want. Then you're going to face it this way. And see it. Then you cannot take the actual measurement, the main measurement that you want to use. So the back is 16. There are the obliques of shoulder slant of an half inch you can decide to make use of one inch it depends on you but yeah i'm using half inch of shoulder slant so it's going to be like this this is the eight inches then after that you can take the ammo measurement Ammo measurement 8 inches for the ammo, then the bust measurement is 40 inches. The same allowance of 2.5 inches. The allowance is not constant, it depends on how you want it to be. The waist measurement is 38 and that is 9.5 inches then with the same allowance of 2.5 inches then I'll be connecting the lines together to this ammo from the ammo to the shoulder by the time I cut it out you're going to see the shape so now this is the side Yes, so what you mean here is to cut the back then the sides of the back this now this is the back this is the center that is going to carry the sip yes so how do i achieve this i place this this is the center of the front then i place it on the fabric that i folded into two then i deduct the breast cut this way you can see this is the zip allowance and this is the breast cut you can see the way i start you can see the way I place this to remove the breast curl. So I'll not cut it. No, the back doesn't have a curl, so that's why I place it this way. Then this is the zip allowance. That this is how I achieve it. Then the back, the side of the back too. I took one of the front, one of the side of the front one with a cup. Then I fold the fabric into two. And I place it on it to cut out the shape. By deducting the cup also at the front, you can see the, you can see the cup. So that is how I achieve the side of the back. So the next thing I remain here is to cut the length from the half cut to the main line. Now I told you it's a three quarter, it's a three quarter. So I'll be cutting, I'll be folding this into two, leaving, I'll be folding this into four, leaving a zip allowance. 
after folding the fabric into four leaving the zip amount you can see then you're going to deduct 16 inches of that's the half cut that is going to join the the particular one here then to the to the length i told you is a three quarter gram which is four 41 inches then i'll be adding 1.5 inches to it to make it 42.5 that's for the sewing allowance so i'll be starting from here now the uh, next thing to is to take the hip point the hip measurement is nine inches the hip point is nine inches the wideness of the hip is 44 inches that's 11 11 inches in four places is going to give us what four inches so the same allowance of two inch you can see with a seam allowance of two inches you can see so i'm using the o the wideness of the fabric so the waist measurement is 39 inches that means it's 9.5 inches you see with the same allowance of two inches then I'll be connecting the lines together and you get to see the shape. So now this is the front and this is the back with a zip allowance. So now what you mean here is to cut the flay at the side. The flay at the side with the pleats at the waist side using this fabric. I'll be using these dashes now. This is for the flay. I'll be folding this into four. This is into two, then into four. It depends on how full you want the flay to be. Can I even use this? Is I'm using one and a half of Duchess fabric. Can you use three yards? It depends on how full you want that area to be. So after folding it into four, this area, the, the meaning one here, the meaning one here is going for the one at the waist side. It's so going to be this way. Then I'll be using this length. From here to here, this is 18.5 inches. So. Point five inches. Eighteen point five inches. Eighteen point five inches. Then I'll be connecting this line together, then I'll cut. So now here is the shape but before cutting this area you have to shift it a little bit to bring out the shape of the flay at the waist side so you need to shift it a little bit like this the shifting is not constant it depends on how you want it to be so this is 7.5 is okay then the wideness of this area depends on how you want it to be it's not cost since you are not attaching it to the wideness of the waist or the wideness of the sleeve so you can you can cut this any way you want so let me just assume this measurement so i'll be using 2.5 well i can also use let me use 3.5 let me add one inch to it 3.5 3.5 then i'll cut this is after cutting you can see it then you're going to open it then this is the area you're going to attach so the waist then is going to be like this. It 
you can cut a facing if you want it to be thick you can decide to cut a facing then you put a gum stay to make it hard then you turn it or if you want it like this you can as well turn it with a bias then i'm going to attach it to the waist you can see it it has formed already So, the next thing that I mean here, now this is the sleeve, you know, it's, it has one off shoulder and one sleeve. The, the one part is on off shoulder and the other part is, is uh, with sleeve, it's with shoulder, so it's going to have a sleeve. And the other one too, it has a fringe, that is where, and at the off shoulder side, that is where we have a fringe. So we'll be attaching, I'll be showing you how to attach all that. Then the up shoulder and one with the up shoulder, which is the up shoulder and the one with shoulder. I will cut the up shoulder immediately. I stitch the front together. So now I'll be showing you the way I'm going to do it. The next thing here is to cut the facing. So I'll placing the I'll placing them here to cut out the facing. Finishing. Where can I even start from? Let me start from the trimming. You can see how it's turned on the neck the way it is. So the 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 reason why it's not standing that well on this mannequin is that the owner is bigger than this. So by the time she wear it, this area will be able to stand right, as you can see it. And this is the fringe. You can see the fringe at the off off shoulder side this is the one shoulder you know i told you it's one shoulder one off shoulder so this is the one with shoulder the long is a three-quarter sleeve that is there and this is the one with an off shoulder you can see it this is sweetheart neckline i cut it immediately when i've already joined the boys coat together that is when i cut out the neckline and if you, don't, if you want to know how to cut it i've done it tutorial on how to cut different kind of necklines so you can check the link under the description of this video so let's go to the waist side you can see this area this is a straight cut let me show you the side this side so i try to make a pleat around this side this is the pleat then I attach, you know, this is one edge, the other edge I attach to the waist, you can see it. So, then this side, after making a pleat, then I scatter it to this area. You can see this area is wider than here, you can see it. So, the flay that we cut, the high-low flay that we cut, then I decide to add it. I told you, if you want to make yours, you can decide to use a facing and that's what I later use it. I use a facing for my flay. Uh, so people can also use a bias to tape the edges here. You can see it. You can see the shape. You can see how beautiful it is. So, so that is how I attached it. You can see, I attach it inside the hip you can see it i touch it inside the hip and that is how it is so please for those people watching me for the first time make sure you subscribe to my channel and to all my subscribers i really appreciate you guys for watching my video always thank you for watching bye